With the new 5.3 update, we got a lot of new features and new ways to control our cue points, whether you're using the iPad, the Mac, or if you're connected to a controller. So in this video, I'm gonna show you everything that's new with DJ Pro and cue points for all of these devices. So the first thing is to set a cue point. On the iPad, we're gonna go to our section over here over here that has all our features. There's narrow mix is the first one. Effects is over here, EQs. Cue points are going to be the second one. So this is where we're gonna see our cue points. In the software for the Mac, it's a little bit different. It, it goes by expansions. So you could either open this expansion, which gives us access to our cue points, and we could set cue points like that. Press the pencil button to delete it. Same thing on the Mac or same thing on the Mac or the iPad. One thing that I've noticed is different is you could see that on my iPad, I definitely have the new update installed. You could see the crossfader effects. But when I set a cue point here, so I set these two cue points. I did it on the iPad, did it on the Mac, and now I have the pencil button open on both. So on the iPad, I could delete this with the pencil button. I could also delete it when the pencil is selected for the Mac. But on the Mac, I get this additional feature of these kind of grab handles, and I could move this cue point anywhere, which is really convenient depending on what type of controller you're using or how you DJ and where you want the cue point to be. I'm pretty sure I have to check my previous videos about the update, but I'm pretty sure I was able to do that on the iPad. But right now there's no grab handles and I can't move it. So for me, at least it is an iP it is a MacBook only feature. So let me know in the comments if your iPad version still lets you have the grab handles, but that is how you do it. Pencil button and we have the grab handles. Now this next feature this next feature doesn't directly affect the cue points, but it will help you with setting cue points. And that is the new feature down here. This used to be just our narrow neural mix isolation, but now if we press the drop down menu, we could either do effects or we could do a, a beat skip. So now with the drop down menu, you could choose how many beats you want to skip. And then now if I wanted to set a cue point 16 beats into this song, to mix it into another song at 16 beats, you could easily do it in one screen. So now I skipped 16 beats and I set my cue point all in one screen. You used to have to go to multiple screens to do this. And we have the same feature, same feature for Mac. This drop down menu, it could either be neural mix or it could be our beat skipper. Also for the Mac to access your cue points, you could open up this toolbox here. And then it's similar to these features down here. You could go to cue point and it's just another way to access your cue points. You have the same exact capabilities. It's just in a different spot, making it easier for you, depending on your style of DJing. Now, the next thing, the next thing that's a big difference that's really cool is if you hold in your cue point button, then it's going to set it to the nearest beat. So watch what I'm doing on the iPad. I'm playing the track. You see how I set that cue point and it's in the middle. Now, if you hold in the button, so don't press it and then press it again and hold it in, you have to hold it in. So watch, I'm gonna do it in the middle, hold it in and it'll snap to the next beat. So you swear that it's snapped, I'll do it again. So it snaps. So if you hold it in, it will snap. And then this also works if you're using a controller with the pads. It knows the difference between our light press and holding it in. So here we go. Hold it in and it snaps. Really cool feature. Makes it really easy to set cue points on the fly. And it's the same thing for the Mac. If you hold it in the mouse, it's going to it's going to skip to the next available beat. Yeah, 
So Q points are really important for DJing and with this new feature, it's really going to, it's really gonna help our creativity run wild as a DJ. And if you wanna see how to map some of the new 5.3 features, check out this video over here. Thank you.